Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and let's make a bowl of strawberries. Now you can make the strawberries very small, a medium size, or large. As a matter of fact, you can make them any size at all. You will determine the size by a circle that you will draw. For the fabric, I like to use anything with a lot of red in it. And sometimes you can get away with no red at all because strawberries are not always ripe. I have lips, I even have ants on plaid. Thin little ribbon and to make the tops of the strawberries I'm going to use a product called Stick and what it is is a fusible web and this is glue. It has no paper on either side so you do not need to peel off any paper. You take it and you put it between your two layers of fabric so that both the fabrics are wrong sides. You iron this and when you do that it becomes two-sided fabric because the glue has stuck it together. And the buttons for the top of the cap can be any buttons you choose. Now to stuff the strawberries I like to use poly pellets from Fairfield. They're these tiny little pellets so they're non-toxic Animals are not going to want them and you can wash them. You can also stuff your strawberries with ground emery. Now this is what they would have used to use inside of those tiny little strawberries that were at the end of pin cushions and the emery sharpens your needles. You can get these at quilt stores and fabric stores. This is a set and it has five different circles but you can use any circle at all. The creative grids have marks in them. You have your half marks and you have marks all the way along. So you could actually just do half of one, but I like to do a whole one and cut it in half. You can also use these with a rotary cutter. But if not, you can take any size circle and trace out that circle and you need to cut that circle out. Just take your circle, fold it in half, and when you hold it, you're going to be able to just take the scissors in between that fold and cut it. You don't have to be that fussy, just cut it in half. Now you can use it in this shape or you can actually cut just another little piece off. I'm going to do one in just the half shape, then I'm going to do one with a little piece cut off. And just figure out whereabouts your middle is and cut that little piece off. So it's sort of a fan shape. So you're going to fold it in half, you're going to match your seams, and you're going to stitch that closed. But what you're going to do is you are going to leave a very long tail with your sewing machine because you're going to use that tail for sewing. So start here and pull the bobbin and the top thread out of the machine for a long distance and stitch from here all the way down. So I have the bobbin and the top thread pulled out until I have a nice long piece. Keep that thread together as one and put that through an eye of a sewing needle. Now I'd recommend using coordinating thread but you'll be able to see it better with the black. Keep both the strands of your thread together. Hold on to the end and hold it right against the end of that strawberry. And then when I pull the thread, I'm going to keep pulling it until it's all one length. And now I have four strands of thread together. And right at the end where you held that thread, I just take two stitches. One, two. And what that's done is that's put a little knot in that area and it keeps your four threads together. Take the strawberry, turn it right side out and poke out your bottom. Now you have this long thread that you're going to be able to gather the top with. Take the top and fold it down just a little bit, whatever's comfortable for you to sew. And you're going to be able to take that and do a running stitch all the way around the top. And as you go along, just continually fold that top down. 
I like to end with my thread coming towards the outside. And the reason you have folded that inside is it gives it a little extra strength when you go to pull this tight together. I still have the thread on. I'm able to fill it now and I don't have to worry about that thread going anywhere. I just fill my strawberry. And I like to make them nice and tight so I give them a little bounce to make sure all those pellets go inside. And you can fill it right to the top. You can fill it so it overflows. It won't matter how much you fill it. Then you're going to be able to take that thread and pull. And what will happen is any of the pellets that are too much for that strawberry are going to come right out. Keep going until that thread is nice and tight. And because we have four strands of thread, we're going to be able to give it a good tug. Now I have that tight in the top and filled nice and firm. I want to close that top. And for the first knot, I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to bring it across from the other side. So I'm going to spear the one side going into the other side. So I have this big loop. The loop that came out of the strawberry, I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap it once around the needle and twice around the needle. And just hold on to that thread and pull that needle right out. And when you get to the end, keep going. And what happens is it's created a knot for you. Now I'm going to stitch two or three times all the way around the strawberry to close it up. I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to put the needle into one side, have it come out the other side, and the side that's not on to the end of the needle, I'm going to wrap around that needle point twice. And that is what creates the knot. Now I'm going to be able to pull that needle out. And as I go, it's going to create a knot. And if I keep pulling tight, it's going to go right into the center. Now just keep stitching until that hole is covered. So it's all stitched close and I still have lots of thread on that needle. Now we're going to stitch a little piece of ribbon onto that. What size ribbon? Any size you want. Take that little ribbon, fold it in half, and you're going to stitch it down. Put your needle right in the end of the two pieces of ribbon. I'm going to use the same stitch that I did before. Put the needle into one of the little points, come back out through the center of that ribbon, take the end, wrap one, two times, and pull it. Now that ribbon is knotted right on there. I have my green already prepared. So you're going to cut a square now out of that two side of fabric. The top is really easy to make. You're going to take that square, fold it in half, and fold it in half again. And that side where you have all of the fold coming together, you don't want to cut through that. That's going to be the center. What you need to do is trim it down. Let me show you with a piece of paper. So I have a folded edge, I have two folded edges, everything is joining together here. You have the four loose ends at the top. What you're going to do is not trim a little portion in this bottom, but you're just going to trim up and trim down in somewhat of a leaf shape. So I still have the piece together here in the center and I have four leaves. When you open it up, you end up with a piece like this. You're going to do that to this tiny piece. Go right through the center of that little green cap. Next, get a button. I like a button with the two holes. I'm going to go up into the button on the one side, come down the next, and go right through the center of that strawberry top again. And when you pull that together, you have that button right on the top. Just pull it until everything meets the top of that strawberry. I make sure that's nice and tight, and I can just lift up one of these little leaves, put your needle in to one of the little points towards the back, as close to the top as you can do. Just take that thread and wrap it again one, two times, and pull that through. And when you tug it, that cap and strawberry are all done. And by having all of that length of thread, you've been able to do it all without having to re-thread your needle. So these were both made from that six and a half inch circle 
this one did have that little wedge cut out of it. So you can see that there is a little bit of a difference of a shape. Now the bigger you go, you definitely will need to take out that little wedge. But if you go any smaller than this, well, I don't think anyone's going to really notice. So I have a whole pile of different strawberries. Now you could always take one of your strawberries and if you put brown fabric on the bottom, it could look like they were chocolate covered strawberries. Now, why do we need to make these cute, fun strawberries? Well, sometimes the fabric just is fun to see what it's going to look like. Here I have ants on my strawberries. You can make them for many different reasons. You can hang them in your car off your window. You can use them as keychains. And if you stuff them with lavender, you can have them scented so you can throw them in your drawers. They're quick and fun. And now you have a bowl of strawberries that'll never go bad. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.